Welcome to TSC Talks Virtual Holiday Market. Thank you so much for joining us today on another one of our live broadcasts. Today, I have sitting next to me my guest, Sarah Lacey. Hi. Sarah is an artist. She is a graduate of Mount Wachusett uh, Community College. She has an associate's in art, and she is now attending Lesley University and is involved with their art therapy program. And she is here to talk about some of the pieces that she's done and that are for sale in our market and just heard the development of her, of her artistry over the years. I'm really proud of Sarah um, and glad to call her my daughter. She's been a stabling, stabilizing force in our family. And you know, as you know, some of you who follow the podcast, I've shared, you know, we have a lot of ups and downs and uh, I've just, Sarah has used, in my observation, used art um, as a way to cope. So what do you have to say about that, Sarah? I didn't know that I was a stabilizing force. <laughs> well, that's true. I'm not just making it up. I think that she's got a real even temperament. And, you know, you think about the artist temperament, and I'd say that I probably have more of that than, um, that's Okay. Just ignore that. A little uh, flightier than than her. So she's the one that does, you know, follows the routines and does just, you know, always just trying her best. And it's really paid off for her. So, Sarah, what mm -hmm. do you have to say? What, uh, <laughs> I feel like I should have practiced for this a bit more. It's okay. You're just on Facebook Live. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit about, um, okay, first let's share some pieces of your art. So like I said, Sarah's been drawing since about birth, I would say. She's all, one of those people that's always like doodling and, you know, whatever she can find to draw on. In fact, we used to go to school meetings and the teachers would say, well, she's a really good student, except she's always doodling on her papers. So. Uh, we started to see, you know, more and more like formed pictures and really interesting um, artwork throughout the years. So I'm going to just share a few of the pictures that she's drawn from. We're going to start in high school so you can see the development of her art a little bit and she'll talk about them. So sorry to hog all the talking, Sarah. So I'm going to do a screen share. Let's just hope this works the way I plan. And I'm going to open up that one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's open that. Let's get this baby out of the way. Just bear with us. We're having just not a technical problem, just a logistics problem. Okay, let me go back to here. Share screen. Even though it's not a video, I'll share that. Okay, see this beautiful picture? This uh, was one that Sarah did in high school. You wanna talk about it a little bit, honey? This one was the, one of the first ones that got me an award. I, don't, I think I got another award for another one. But yeah, when I made it, I really didn't feel like it was like, because waves are hard to draw. I had some, a lot of trouble with that. And I think I focused more on that than the um, person. But I think um, I think even if the, um, yeah, I think, it, the, oh God, I remember just not liking this at all, but looking back on it, I mean, that's what development is. You look back on things that you made and you decide whether or not it was good. I think it's pretty good. It's an interesting piece. Yeah. So what were you thinking or feeling when you when you painted this? Um, a, frust a little frustration because how naggy the teacher was. She didn't really give us, she just told us to sort of do it as opposed to just instead of saying how to do it, which is a marked difference between going to college and having the teachers give you sort of a technique or an idea of how to do it rather than just doing it. So a little more um, directed instruction instead yeah. of throwing you out there. and Throwing us to the sharks, yeah. Okay. Well, I think I love this one and it, it was hanging in the high school um, cafeteria for a while. So I don't know where it is now. Uh, and we're not sure where it is now. These ones are not for sale right now. We're going to share the ones for sale in a few minutes, but we're going to go through these pieces. So we are going to pull up another one. Um, one second. Just got to get it open. Uh, why did I do that? Okay, let's see. So there you are. 
Okay, so we should do this one? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do this one. I just gotta move these screens away or else nobody will see the picture. Oh crap, okay, so where are we? Screen share, we're getting it. And the next picture is right here. Okay, so beautiful. Can you talk a little bit about this? When did you do this one? Um, I was in co community college while I did that one. It's actually, uh, I cropped it a bit better in a, it's part of my portfolio that sort of let me, uh, what was it called? Uh, apply to different colleges. So, and that one is, I just like it cause it's simple and um, the mark making on the face. What do you mean by the mark making? You can see that it's sort of all each, um, mm -hmm. it goes in one direction, sort of like that, the diagonal, diagonally. Um, and that's like a style or a technique? Yeah, it's like a, a style sort of thing, yeah. Um, so is this any anybody in particular or what were you thinking and feeling when you drew this? Um, I do all my best pictures when I'm not really thinking anything. So you're kind of in in like a flow kind of probably listening to like a lecture or something and then just doodling like back in elementary school <laughs> so that's like been your technique just ignoring other people that are talking <laughs> <laughs> yep that sounds that sounds about right i can relate to that okay so we're going to share one more that she's done uh, it's kind of just showing you the progression so let me pull that up it's still here Okay, let's see. Whoopsie. Nope, that's not it. Got too many screens open. Well, I hope you guys are all having a good day and getting ready for holidays, whatever you celebrate. We are celebrating Christmas here and we are, well, I am not anywhere near ready. I haven't really bought many presents, so shame on me. Uh, Okay, so we're gonna share this last picture and then we will show you the ones that are for sale. So, screen share. There it is. Okay. So this one here, hopefully it's, you can see this. It's a collage, yeah. Um, it's look. It's obviously looks as if it's not glued down because it probably isn't. I was probably in the process of making it, but that is what the final piece sort of looks like minus the paper coming off the board. Um, yeah, I decided to go with the, like a scribbly sort of technique and mark making, which uh, I made for a college fair that was at the community college. This is about a year ago, I think. A year ago? About around that time, yeah. So. So it's like, it looks like you've got a whole bunch of pictures, obviously. It's a yeah, collage. Um, I do, yeah. I sort of like... The top one is like in the car because I don't know it's like when you're little you're in the car and like you're like falling asleep and that's sort of so that's you know, like from a memory from driving yeah uh, well not me driving well I, I know <laughs> but I can just so remember that you know driving riding in the back seat and looking at my parents heads in the car looking at the lights going by the window yeah um picture of the person sleeping is my younger my youngest sister uh Caroline is it? Yeah. That's awesome. I can see it. Totally. Well, I'm glad. Yeah, whatever. People can recognize things in my picture. I'm like, oh, good. <laughs> that's always, that's got to be nerve wracking. Like if you do a picture of someone and, and you're just like, oh, that looks like that, like another person. You're like, yeah, okay. Oh. That's what I was going for. Um, and then uh, besides that, there's the car, which sort of fits with the, um, the driving, uh, driving and, and the lighthouse above that. I don't know what order I'm going in, but that's fine. Lighthouse, uh, right I don't here. know. Yeah, we used to go to the Cape a lot when we were younger, and there's all everyone always goes on and on and on about lighthouses. Or there, either that or there's like lighthouse decorations everywhere, <laughs> but it's on the Cape, so uh, whatever. And then besides that, there's uh, the moon shining on. I think it's the water. And I always have trouble getting the sense that water is water when drawing, but. I'm figuring that out. And then below that is a person who I don't know who it is. It might be my grandma. I don't know. So right down here? Yeah, that looks like grandma. Yeah, I think that's my grandma. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. 
Um, okay, so this is you did this when you were in in um, community college. Yes. Awesome. All right. Um, let's see. That was a piece that everyone liked. Yeah, I, I love it, and it was in a display. And what were you? You know, I'm kind of I'm not trying to rush through this. I just saw a message. Um, trying to multitask here. So what were like you thinking when you did this? I guess you'd have to go through each piece. So um. Um, just sort of like, I was, part of me was definitely thinking about the style because um, I wanted, I forgot the, it was for a, an assignment. I don't remember the, um, what exactly it was, but um, I wanted there to be like um, a unifying factor and the unifying factor for that is um, sort of the style and um, the memories attached to each piece. I, I love it. I feel like I can feel the unifying factor. It's kind of, um, I don't know if uh, like connection to- Family and memories. Yeah. Family and memories. Beautiful, Sarah. All right, I am going to- shut this and stop the share. Actually, I'm gonna shut this. And then we're gonna show some of the pictures that she has, uh, that she has for sale. Thank you for watching. Yes, so she has, a, she picked out some pictures that she's gonna offer. And I'm gonna start with the one that we used for the display, the logo. Oops, now I'm gone. Oh my goodness. How am I gonna do this? Okay, so I'm gonna stand up so you can see this because I got my, oh my goodness. <laughs> do, you, do you have a picture of it on the computer that you could share? I do. I do have a picture on the computer that will require lots of screen sharing. So this so, is, can you just talk about this while I'm holding it up? <laughs> yeah, quickly. Um, it's, uh, um, it was for um, one of my classes. We were supposed to do one last journal that sort of encompassed all the stuff that we learned. I decided to go with something a little different. Um, it was for a journal group or whatever um, for a class, and I decided to go. Ended up with something different, but I really liked how this turned out. It might need a little cropping, but that's fine. Um, and this I, one's going for twenty five bucks. Yeah, I think so. Um, it's uh, I don't know. I was um, I wanted to, and I still do want to learn how to draw like wings and stuff. So that was like the bigger experiment, and then I just like the idea of just having the person itself just be sort of casted in shadow is a nice sort of contrast. Yeah, I guess, you know, this one jumps out in my mind. Like, I feel like, I feel an emotional piece to it, Sarah. Yeah, there was emotion to it because it was like the end of class and I was like pretty much done with the, the talking to the people that I was talking to unless I see them in other classes. So it's just like, my tribute to them, even if I didn't end up using it. It's beautiful. And we're calling it hope. That's what we're calling it. So after all, hope is a thing with feathers. Hope. And this is going to drive me nuts. And I'm thinking maybe I take my background down so you can see these pictures. Then you get to look at the green screen instead of the pictures, but that might be better. Okay. So this one is 25 bucks. And if you're interested in purchasing it, you can email, you can email me or Sarah. Now Sarah's out of the picture. Move back in here. <laughs> we're going to stop this. We're going to put the background to something. We are going to take the background off. So if you'd like to order any of those pictures, please email. I'm going to put the email in the comments. You can email. There we go. Beautiful background. We're going to just go with it so we can actually see these pictures. Yes, you can email Jill at pjlacy6 at gmail.com or sarahlacy98 at gmail.com. $25 for this one. I'm gonna put those uh, email addresses in the comments and we're gonna move on to the next picture. Here, you wanna hold this up while I put that in the comments? Now we can actually see it. Oopsie, we dropped a phone. Oh God, okay, it's hopefully it's not broken. Here, I'll hold it and oh, get your phone. Definitely not broken. We're gonna preview this picture for a minute here. What am I, Jack? This is, okay, Sarah, you wanna talk about that for a minute while I note this? Um, this is um, a sort of introspective art journal that I had to do for the other class. Yeah, um, I did end up using this in the journal. Um, it's 
sort of faces and I always I've done something similar to this before but I always like liked how um, it turned out here because it's sort of each eye is connected and like each face is and um, part of it was uh, inspired by some mythical creatures um, I remember reading somewhere that angels have like four faces four heads or whatever and partly inspired by that and partly inspired by um, just drawing faces, which is my main go-to for most things. I'm very good at portrait drawing, so if uh, is, if you're interested, if you're if you're interested, yeah. So if yeah, if you're interested in commissioning a portrait, Sarah is available to do that. Um, what you can do is you can email her and send her a picture of what you'd like what you'd like drawn. And she will give you an estimate on cost and price for materials, and give you a fo uh, give you a rough, a pretty good estimate of what you'll need to pay. And you know, she's a young artist, and she's not going to overcharge you. So, uh, I would, you know, she's done. She did this piece for my friend Jamie that we haven't given to her yet. So, um, this is. Are we going to sell that one? No, we're not. Gonna, this one was done for Jamie, so. We're, We're just, showing it just showing it. And this was a cat that from a picture that she asked for Sarah to do. And, you know, I think that Sarah's willing to, to, to work with, with you. And Jamie had asked for a few changes and Sarah will go into the picture and make the, you know, if something's just a little off in, in the way that you might want it, she will go and she will work with you on that. So this is one that um, is done for Jamie. I'm going to show you the other picture we have for sale. I don't have a picture for you yet, but I will grab. Um, yes, this one. this one is a smaller one. Love this. This one is also 25 bucks. And what is the name of this one? I don't know, Handception or something? Handception. Ooh, it's whiting out a bit. Okay, let me pull it back. So what what was this for can you talk about this one a little bit how I you think did this that? one was just for fun uh i was practicing drawing hands okay and cool i thought hey, might as well draw a hand drawing my hand drawing my hand drawing my hand that's really cool i love it so handception you see that and the faces i'm gonna hold these up one more time faces another beautiful piece by sarah lacy and hope we can see this a little better in full. These are the three that are for sale. They're each 25 bucks. You can commission a piece of artwork. Um, you know, I think the cat picture was about 50 and that was from a picture. So I only do tr traditional right now. I don't have the resources to do um, digital art. I just, just do that. Yes, so she's doing only traditional from a picture. You know, she's not doing digital art right now, but uh, you know, she's, she takes the time to add, you know, some, some depth and um, just does a real good quality job with the pieces that she does. So, yeah. So thank you, Sarah, for being on. I wanted you to talk a little bit about how you used art over the years to cope, um, you know, with, with, you know, health challenges and w whatever you want to talk about. Um, part of it was uh, escapism and part of it I'm sure was like processing stuff because I had some problems in my youth with coordination and that probably helped to, was encouraged by someone or whatever um it was encouraged by a lot of people actually it was very nice um and it was easy because ever the family was just so chaotic and sitting down with a pencil and a sketchbook and just drawing it or whatever was uh probably one of the easiest things to do so it kind of helped you stay engaged while not kind of being in the midst of the chaos. Yeah, I was the quiet child, I think. Yeah, Sarah was is the middle, well, yeah, middle child. Middle and child for you, yeah. Middle child for me and um, definitely the one that's, that's the quiet one. So, um, and the mediator. So, you know, and now you're studying art therapy. Um, How is that going? Um, uh, pretty well, I think. Uh, Definitely should probably, oh, where'd I go? There you go. <laughs> uh, talk to therapist or whatever as well. But that's so you're my... finding that, like, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you're finding that, you know, as you, you're you working, planning to be an art therapist, where you're using art to help people process painful and, you know, memories and stuff that sometimes, you know, at the same time, it's bring stuff up personally. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So I think that anybody that would be studying to be an art therapist would need to go through therapy of their own. And I think I would recommend therapy for everybody on the planet in some way, shape or form, whether it's formal therapy or, you know, whatever it is that meditation, um, group therapy, exercise, um, podcasting is a form of therapy for me. So, you know, I think it, it's, it's kind of great when you have something that you are good at and also is therapeutic. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's pretty much about it. So I am going to say thank you for tuning in. Again, if you'd like to buy any of these pictures, please email Sarah at saralacy98 at gmail.com or you can email me at pjlacy6 at gmail.com. Sarah is a 22-year-old art student and artist and is looking to spread the word about her um, commissioned art too. If you're interested in getting a picture done for someone of a pet, you know, particularly animals, faces, you can reach out to Sarah and she will give you an estimate and provide you with a very personalized piece of work. And so, yeah, so that's about, yeah, that's about it, Sarah. Mm -hmm. You have any final parting words from the artist? Lean in. Artist? Uh, what? I don't know. Uh, just uh, anyone can draw. It just takes a lot of practice and technique. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to ask you a little bit more about that because we have a few more minutes. I know you don't want to stay here, but no, it's fine. Um, OK, so yeah, so anybody can draw. In fact, I was having a conversation with my friend Chris Nichols about this. Um, what people, do you mean? A lot of people think like they, they can't draw. They always go on like one of the most frequent comments is uh, I can only draw stick figures, which um, like the characters don't have to always be drawn well, like in a comic. It's if you if it's simpler graphic wise, you can still use stick figures. You can look up XKCD or whatever. They make a lot of comics and it's just stick figures, but the content and what they're saying is what led to its popularity. So art can be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. Wow. And how did you, how did you improve your technique? Just practice? Practice and looking at like, looking at like art they like and implement, trying to implement that in my own work. So, so if you saw a piece that you, that you really liked, what style it was or what, what elements, like how they drew the eyes or hair or like the, the tech, like the mark making, I would sort of try to experiment and see how it looks in my own work. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, if you just, I know you're always like practice, practice, practice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was going to ask you one other thing too. I know that during the course of your art therapy, you also took some anthropology classes. And I thought that it was really interesting that you were, um, you were interested in that. And what, what do you have any thoughts about art over the year over, you know, what you found interesting about anthropology and how that might apply to art? Oh, um, anthropology. Yeah. That's the study of humans. Um, it's, um, it's interesting because, um, we don't really know like anything about humans have existed for about modern humans, homo sapiens, homo sapiens have existed for about 200,000 years. And the first art piece was made about 40,000 years ago, at least I think considering in the Western world, I think there's a piece in Africa that might be, be considered art that's 70,000 years ago, but regardless, we don't know a lot about our own history and having that, art sort of um, helps keep track of it, even if it's not written, it still like gives an idea, like the cave paintings in France, the Hall of Bulls, it's still like, oh, this is what these animals existed, that existed back then, looks like. They don't ex exist now, but it helps give records. And it shows like how, like part of their culture and stuff of the people that live there. That's pretty cool. So, so outside of like what can be put down in textbooks or ascertained, uh, you could get clues and information about the culture from, from the, the artwork. The artwork and customs. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. Cause I know in the cannabis, um, the, the early, there were early cave drawings I, and I'm not going to quote the year, but gazillions of years ago of, of the, I don't know what, what version of the cannabis plant it was, whether, you know, sativa, indica, or 
Rudal, I, some other word I can't pronounce, but they were they there were pictures on the, these caves, so um, of this medicine, so kind of the similar a little bit in terms of clues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I yeah, um, and then as you work in art therapy, you're going to be doing an internship. Can you just talk a little bit about what you're going to be doing? I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. Oh, okay. She's not allowed to talk about it. I don't know. It. If That's I'm okay. That's okay. She, yep. Yeah, so she's going to be applying the things that she learned in, in thus far in her art therapy career in some internships with, with children. So, you know, I think that it's a great choice and challenging and I support Sarah and her evolution as a human being. If she continues on this path or decides to go down another one, I think she's well equipped for whatever life has to put in front of her. So thanks sweetheart for being on mm -hmm. this. And I'm going to say, over and out. Again, if you want these pictures, check out her email. 25 bucks. This kid needs to do some Christmas shopping. All right. Love you guys. I'm going to see you soon in a minute. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks, honey. You're awesome. <laughs>